Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pompingileli and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video guys, we are going to be answering this question from a grade 10 life sciences past exam paper. This is from the topic, I think, support um, system in humans. We are mainly focusing on the human skeletal system in this particular question. All right, guys, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. It is free. It's more like just following someone on Instagram or TikTok. So please kindly hit that subscribe button, like the video, share the link with your friends, classmates and your schoolmates. And also please comment down below. Let's look at the question, guys, without wasting time. All right. So the diagram below represents the side view and the ventral side and ventral views of the human skull. So this is the side view and this is the ventral view of the human skull. Then we are just given um, X there is one of the labels. 311. To which of the two main parts of the skeleton, the skeleton has two main parts, um, so to which of the two main parts of the skeleton do these structures belong? Um, definitely the axial skeleton. Skeleton. All right, one mark for that. Identify the opening marked X. This opening over here that we find at the bottom of the skull, what do we call it? That is definitely the foramen magnum. Foramen mug num okay one mark easy peasy so far right um 3.1.3 with which vertebra does um to which or with which vertebra sorry does this part of the skeleton articulate meaning part x the foramen magnum uh, that's the atlas obviously or you could say the first cervical vertebra. The first cervical vertebra. If you said that, you would also get a mark. 314. Write down the dental formula of a human. For one mark, this is easy. Right? Looking at the upper jaw, that will be 2, 1. Um, is to 2, is to 3. Same. On the lower jaw, that will be 2, is to 1 is to two is to three so remember um this is in the order of the different types of teeth um your incisors your canines your premolars and then your molars if you are looking at the upper jaw one half of the upper jaw and this is obviously another half of the lower jaw okay i think that is nicely explained um at school so 315 how many teeth how many teeth does an adult human have in the upper jaw? So how many teeth does an adult human have in the upper jaw? So if this is one half of the upper jaw, if this is one half of the upper jaw, all we need to do is to multiply that by two. So the total that we should get is 16. So because two... 2 plus 2, this is how I'm going to do it. 2 plus 2, that's 4. Plus 2, because this will be 1 plus 1. 2 plus 2, 3 plus 3. You should get 16, guys, because this is 1 half. So if this is your mouth, right, then you have the middle part here and the middle part here, right? So this will be your lower jaw, and this is your upper, upper jaw. So if this is the middle part, you are able to see the teeth in the middle. Same with this one. So what we are basically having here, two, one, two, three, is one half, right? So, and this should also match up the other half. Um, obviously, most humans, as much as we are supposed to have 32 teeth, most human beings do not have 32 because of different reasons. I do not have 32 teeth because I've removed two or three already. Um, yeah, so I don't really have 32. Okay. Then what is determined by an animal's dental formula? So what basically determines an animal's dental formula? So our dental formula, guys, is indicate is determined by a number of things when we speak about the teeth, right? So it's the number of teeth 
um, for each type and the arrangement in that specific animal. So what determines an animal's dental formula is firstly the number of the teeth, um, the type of the teeth, and the arrangement. The arrangement of the teeth of a specific animal. Remember guys, you are more than welcome to pause the video, try and answer before I say out the answers and please comment down below. Let me know if you're enjoying this video, if it's helpful, if the specific topics that you need me to cover, please also let me know in the comment section. I really do enjoy interacting with you guys. The diagram below, that's 3.2, shows different joints. So you are shown three different diagrams, A, B and C. Um, identify the type of joint A, B and C according to the movement that they permit, right? For three marks. So it's easy peasy stuff. A will be the pivot joint, um, B is hinge joint, and C is the gliding joint. Easy peasy stuff. State three functions of the skeleton, three functions of the skeleton other than giving protection. So you cannot mention protection in your answer. This is for three marks. They asked for three and you cannot mention protection because they said other than the skeleton giving protection. So you can speak about support. It supports our bodies. Um, you can speak about movement, obviously. The, the skeleton will allow movement, the bones with the muscles. Um, then hearing, that is also important. We do have three very small bones in the ear that assist with amplifying sound that is covered in metric. And then storage of minerals, we know that. Storage of minerals, so any three that are, are correct, okay. All the best for your test and exam, guys.